Does my drinking offend you? Because I don't give a shit. Chelsea are through to the FA Cup final. It is Chelsea 3, Manchester United 1. And guess what? We really humbled them today, didn't we? Such a brilliant performance from the start of the game to finish. Game management today was on point. The first thing I want to say before I fully delve into this review, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. Don't forget to press that bell notification button as well to be the first guy to know whenever I upload any new content. Now we're straight past that obvious shit. Chelsea are through to the FA Cup final and we humbled those bastards today. And it has been so overdue. All this unbeaten talk from virgins who are really unbeaten, just trying to hype up beating the bottom five like it means anything. I mean, granted, we struggle with the bottom five, but the point still doesn't stand. When it, ca when it matters for you guys... When it is the big occasion, you lot let yourselves down yet again. And I'm really hoping this is the start of your Manchester United collapse, which is exactly the same as how it happened last season when you lot just folded in the final games of the season. You lot were so confident about today. You lot were saying, oh, Lampard's never beaten us. You lot have never beaten Ole. Ole's 8-1 and one on aggregate over your club. What did that matter for at the end of the day? You lot have been cussing out Lampard, saying he's a bum, saying he's Ole's bitch, saying he has no game plan. Who looked like they didn't have a game plan today? Was it Chelsea or was it Manchester United? Because I know exactly who looked like the dominant team today. First half, I will say not really much chances in the first half. Both teams were playing very defensive, but Chelsea still dominated possession. Manchester United, whenever they had the ball in midfield, they were just getting cut out for fun. Bruno Fernandes, I am not going to say he's a dead player, but I'm going to tell you that he was washed today and he just got cut out for fun. Jorginho and Kovacic, as soon as they saw him on the ball, cut out his passing lanes and the guy had no options and he couldn't do anything and just lost the ball. Or his goal, just another little stat pad. I mean, it, was a, it wasn't really the best of challenges from Hudson-Odoi. But you know, Manchester United had to get their single penalty. It's basically match day tradition at this point. And they were looking for it all game. I'll be real, if they had any sort of game plan, it was just to try and draw fouls. Bruno Fernandes is actually so shameless. I saw this one from Jorginho. Jorginho must have, he must have clipped Jorginho trying to get the ball to him. And the guy took two steps and then fell like, he was, like, like his brain was lagging or some shit. Their game plan today was shocking. And this is the thing I've said about Manchester United. We have lost to them every single time this season. But every single time I've come out of this game and I thought, how the hell have we lost to them? The 4-0, we controlled the game more. The only difference was we were poor defensively and just we got battered on the counter-attack. But we could have made much better for ourselves. If Tammy Abraham had hit the po hadn't hit the post or he scored, or we took one of our other earlier chances, it would have been a different game. The 2-1, everyone hyping that Rashford free kick when he hits that into row Z every single time at Old Trafford. But he got lucky this time because it was Willy Caballero in goal. It was such a jammy free kick and they scored from two set pieces in that one too. And the 2-0 where VAR absolutely saved your asses. You lot have got so lucky against us in recent history and it's got you all so gassed. And look what's happened. You're now another season and your best achievement for this season is that you beat us three times. Congratulations, it led to nothing. Uh, Olivier Giroud got the first goal before half time. It was a great cross from Azpilicueta who had a brilliant performance today and going forward has improved so much. His crossing has improved leaps and bounds since lockdown. And his main criticism in the last 18 months was that he wasn't that good going forward but that part of his game is starting to improve i'll say a big part of that was us playing him at right center back where he succeeded so well with that Morata link up a couple years ago but his crossing has still improved and second half second half as soon as as soon as we started we came right out of the barracks and mason mount went to test De Gea with a little shot and De Gea wasn't ready bro De Gea wasn't ready man got caught lacking yet again and from that point on, the game was controlled. It was Chelsea's game to lose. Uh, what was it? We continued to pile on pressure. There was a couple chances for us to make it 3-0 as well. Mason Mount had another good chance as well. Manchester United just didn't really have much going forward. Defensively, we were very solid. I want to give Rudiger credit because he was a lot calmer on the ball. Zuma and Asby were near flawless. Rudiger had one mistake, but... I, there is no negativity today if i'm being really on no negativity today it's all positivity even on the wing backs reese james is gliding past people like they're nothing he looks so calm and so chilled on the ball but just like pulisic as soon as he gets a bit of momentum behind him he's impossible to stop 
Bring in on Pulisic as well. He didn't even play today and we didn't even need him to smack United up. It was a humbling today. And Rudiger's, no, not Rudiger, 80 million. Harry, basically Virgil van Dijk Maguire with an own goal just to put the icing on the cake and really dig the finger deep into the wounds of Manchester United fans. And then from 3-0, I'll be real, the game started to slow down a little bit. Game set and match at that point. United tried committing more players forwards. They got their standard penalty. And what's his name? Bruno Fernandes decided to stat pad another goal. Stole Jorginho's whole flow with that penalty as well. But it was just a consolation goal at that point. We brought on Hudson Odoi and Tammy, who had pretty decent link up in the 94th minute for what was a good chance for Hudson Odoi. If he didn't lean back as much, that would have been 4 1. And then the party would have really started. We'd be talking about Baku 2.0 and everything. Um. Bar that, Manchester United really didn't offer much. I mean, it sounds so Chelsea that we lose three, three times to Manchester United on the bounce. And then when it matters, we absolutely walk through them. And it is so satisfying to do that as well. I'll be real, today has been perfect with Leicester C losing 3-0 to them lot down the road. And Jose Mourinho backing us yet again. It's been a brilliant day for us. And here's the thing. Dominoes always seem to flow in the right motion for Chelsea. Every single time last season, if it wasn't, if it was us getting three points in a month and us still progressing higher than our top four rivals because they were losing every game around us, is this one where we're losing 3 0 to Sheffield United and Leicester to have an even worse collapse and United drop points in Fergie time to Southampton. Leicester City have dropped more points now and that's even more vital for us because now that means that Leicester City and Manchester United match has no chance of being a match where both teams can play for a draw. Leicester City now have to win their last game. They have to win that United game and that means a lot to us. We still have to do our job. We still have to beat Liverpool. We've got a fresh Christian Pulisic as well so I'm going to be gassed about it. and Liverpool have looked like they've been on the piss ever since they, we won them the league title. I was about to say they won it, but we needed that. We needed to hold their hands as well, as per. But let's go straight into the player rates before I wrap this up. Willy Caballero was very surprised to see him start, but in hindsight, I get it. You got to give your cup keeper the cup games if you want to keep them on side, and that's why I'm today. And Caballero, he had a pretty quiet job, but for the most part, he did his job well. Not much you could have done about the penalty. Jorginho's run up. Jorginho's run up is unstoppable for a reason. So for Willy Caballero, it's just unlucky there, but I'm going to give him a six. I don't think he had much to do today, but handled his job very well. Reese James, seven for me today. Glided through that right side with ease. He controlled the game so well. Crosses from him, very dangerous at times as well. Corners would want to see a bit of improvement. He had one and he didn't do that well on that. But bar that, his game was perfect. As for Laqueta, crossing today was impeccable. He created so many chances and... Giroud was always in and around that area and he was fine. He was trying to find him a couple times as well. It was very hard for him because there was United were defensively set up as well, the same way we were. But that doesn't mean his balls weren't good. And he was cred and all that hard work gave him the assist towards half time. So credit to him for that. And I think he had a flawless job defensively. Zuma as well, I thought he was flawless defensively too. Really unlucky not to get a goal. I think he had a chance in the first half or something. I, I can't really remember for the life of me. But defensively flawless as well. So he gets a 7-2. Rudiger, I'm going to... I think I think out of the three, he was the worst. But like by a little margin. He only had one mistake and that was it. I'm going to give him a 7-2. I don't care. We're doing no negativity today on this video. So Rudiger gets a 7 as well. Um, Marcus Alonso all over that left-hand side going forward. And, cre and credit to him as well, because he got the assist for the third goal too, and it was a great performance from him. So Alonso, I'm going to give a... I think, we are we going for sevens for the entire back five? And actually, no, I gave Reese James a six. So I think Alonso was a better wing back, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give Alonso a seven. Alonso gets a seven. Jorginho, seven. Pressing like mad today. Did not give Bruno Fernandes a minute to breathe. And I've said so much about that's Jorginho and Kovacic Pifford. When we did Jorginho and Barkley against Sheffield United in the second half, I was just sitting there like, why? It don't work like that. Jorginho and Kovacic understand each other differently and it showed itself today. I thought the game was going to be lost in midfield because United's midfield is meant to be strong all over their arse today. Jorginho gets a seven. Kovacic is getting an eight. Impressible. 
and the guy, the ball is glued to his feet with the number 17. If I was pissed out of my head, I'd be thinking Eden Hazard's regen was on the pitch sometimes. He's even got the same height and everything. He was crazy all over that midfield today. United players couldn't get near him. They had to resort to fouling him whenever they could. Kovacic gets an 8 from me. William, good first half. I do think he was a little bit gassed today. Track back well. Corners could have been better, but, you know, is what it is. William, I'm going to give a 6. Giroud, 8 all over them Manchester United players. Harry Maguire couldn't do anything to him. The guy was trying to hold on to his chest like he was your goal. The guy's holding onto his chest, trying to grab onto his nipples, strip his shirt off, everything. The guy's moving like one horny guy. Giroud had Maguire on ropes the entire match. Eight for me. The only reason why he's not getting man of the match is because Mason Mount was on the pitch. And I'm going to him now. Let me just get Mason Mount's numbers up. Where is this? 92.3% passing accuracy. Three take-ons with 100% success rate. One tackles 100% success rate. Four shots, two on targets, one blocked. His game was flawless today. And it was all capped off with that beautiful goal in the De Gea era as well, just to wrap it all up. It was brilliant today. Mason Mount gets an eight for me as well, and he just scrapes man of the match too. Moving on to the substitutes. Um, Ruben Loftus-Cheek bodied Paul Pogba. I'm going to just leave it at that. Bar that I don't think really had much to the game, but he left Paul Pogba on his ass, And just for that, I'm giving him a six anyway. Hudson Odoi really should have got that fourth goal. If he didn't lean back so much, it would have been the fourth goal. But he did very well to build up to it. And we know how good he is at dribbling and one on ones. So I'm going to give him a six as well. Pedro came on. Decent build up play, but I don't think he had too much impact. I'm going to give him a five. And Tammy Abraham. Good set up for Hudson Odoi's chance at the end. Bar that, he didn't really have much to do. He's going to get a six as well. But guys, this is your player ratings for Chelsea 3, Manchester United 1. I hope you guys are as gassed about this match as I am. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. And we will see you guys very, very soon. Take care and up the Chelsea.